Okay, so as the last video about Hashtopolis, or how it was called back then, Hashtoposy, is more than two years old, I decided to do a new video about how to set up things, and we're gonna start with the Hashtopolis server. And I'm going to differ between two variants of the setup. So, one version is to use the Git repository directly, and also being able to just pull updates via Git. And the other version would be a, a offline version where you pull the zip and, and install the zip. And I'm gonna tell you there also how to update it properly that you don't run into trouble. But on this video, I'm going to focus on the Git uh, variant and how to set up with Git. So as you see here, we have the repository and I strongly advise you to check out the wiki first when you do the installation to, to just get the basic overview and we have the prerequisites listed here. I'm going through these as well this time, but um, I maybe missed to say some details or, or something uh, which is important for certain versions. So please consult these as well uh, beside this video in order to avoid any uh, misunderstanding. Um, so let's switch to the server. We have a uh, plain Ubuntu 18.4 here and uh, we're gonna just get through the normal installation process with Apache and uh, set up Hashtopolis. So first we have to install the prerequisites. Um, let me get the Uh, we need a uh, MySQL server. Uh, that's pretty straightforward. Everything I'm, uh, I may be gonna speed that up during the installation in order to avoid uh, wasting a lot of time of you. So next we're gonna need the Apache 2 server and the uh, PHP packages required to run Hashtopolis. These prerequisites are all listed on the wiki page, so you just can copy it from there and run everything. Okay, so we should have everything now we need. Uh, first, let's secure the MySQL installation to properly um, keep the databases safe. This is pretty straightforward. We uh, want to set up validate password plugin and we need to uh, set a root password. I'm just doing it now. Uh, yes, we want to remove anonymous users. Uh, we want to disallow root remotely. We want to remove the test databases and reload the privileges. And now we can uh, log in into MySQL and set up the database for Hashtopolis. Um, I'm doing this via the command line as it's just like three commands to do. Uh, if you prefer using PHP admin, you can do that as well. That should be pretty straightforward too. At the end, we just need a database and a user to connect Hashtopolis to. So let's create the database Hashtopolis and then create a user Hashtopolis, um, which we later will give rights to this database. Uh, I set a pretty weak password here, but that's just for demonstration purposes. And now we have to grant uh, access on the database to, to, to the user we just created. OK, 
Okay, and now we just need to save the privileges with the flush command. And then we should be done with the MySQL stuff. So we can exit MySQL and proceed to cloning the Hashtopolis repository. We go to the www folder of the Apache server and we want to just clone the repository here so that it's stored under var www hashtopolis. So let's clone it from the repository. Okay. Okay, so now we have the Ashtopolis directory here with the, the files and everything which is in the repository. Um, we need to set up the, the configuration for Apache now that it points to this um, uh, this folder, so this source folder of Ashtopolis. Um, if we switch over to a browser and look at the web page currently is shown, the, that's the Apache default web page. And um, we want to switch this over to, to Hashtopolis. So we need to edit the Apache config. So this is stored under uh, etc Apache uh, sites available and we just edit the default conf. Here we see that the document root is pointing to var www html and we switch this to Hashtopolis src. So it will directly point into the source folder of Hashtopolis. And additionally, as uh, said in the wiki, we need to set the directive uh, allow override all uh, for the folders because that way Hashtopolis can secure the required directories itself and we don't need to do that manually. So for the directory we, directory we have Hashtopolis in, we create uh, this config with um, this one. So we set allow override to all. This allows that the HD access files which are in the repository uh, are used to set the uh, properties for certain directories that they are not accessible in the browser. So we should be done here with the configuration file, so we can save it. Um, now we need to uh, reload Apache that it um, takes these uh, configurations into account. But first we want to set the PHP configurations as well. Um, so we edit the PHP ini file uh, to set the limits for the uploads of files in Hashtopolis, as the default is pretty low and uh, ideally we want to increase this a, li a little. So we need uh, the memory limit, which often is exceeded easily if you have slightly larger hash lists and more than just one or two single hashes. So yeah, we'll set it to 500 megabytes. This you have to update to what you need. And also we will set the upload max file size. This is the limit which, which is uh, set for uploading files uh, like word lists and rules. So depending on what you would like to upload through the web interface and not the import folder, uh, you need to set this in this limit. Uh, I will just set it to something normal, uh, 500 megabytes. And also the post max size needs to be adjusted to this because otherwise it would not work to, to send a 500 megabyte file because the, the whole post request <coughs> would exceed it. And so we said it is the same number uh, for that. And then we are done with the normal settings we need to set for the PHP ini file. And we can uh, reload Apache 2 to update its config and also the PHP ini file. And if we switch to the browser now, we should see that it switched over to, to another uh, page, so the Hashtopolis installation. And also it uh, just directly warns us because we created the um, folder and everything with the root user. We need to change this to the www user that it has appropriate rights for, for uh, changing files in there. So this, for this we just uh, um, simply change the owner to the uh, repository for to the folder for www data 
and this is done with the change owner command and we do it recursively on the whole folder to be sure that it has all the rights there and if we go to the installation process again we can check that the permissions are correct now so we can start with the installation in the web browser there is not anything needed right now on the terminal anymore so we'll go through the process here it should be pretty straightforward we just enter here our SQL um, um, properties so we have just installed it on localhost we didn't change the default port so that's fine uh, we created the hash uh, the user has topolis and also we set, it, we set the password and we also have the same for the database name so I hope I entered it correctly and yes it tells us that the connection was successful it just tested and we can fill it now with the data it comes with the database structure and it will take a few seconds to apply this okay so we can create the admin user now so that will be the def default user we use to log in um, let me create that and just fill in some some Okay, now the admin user is created and it also tells us that we need to secure the directories as I mentioned earlier and as we said allow override to all we should already be safe so if we go to continue now and if we test that we can access the install directory as we did before it is protected now because the HD access files are already prepared to secure the required uh, folders for that so we just have our login page here now with the set up hash police server if you have any questions there is the forum uh, for hash police where you can just ask for for normal questions if you're not sure if it's an issue or if you set up something wrong if you're sure it's an issue feel free to open a issue on the repository and say what is wrong there ideally specify as much as you can to help us to solve the issue so this is just the setup of the server I will hopefully have some time to create other videos about setting up clients and also the other variant of setting up the server and the update process which is there because the here in our case now you can just run git pull and update everything easily with the other version it's a bit more complicated so thank you for watching and see you soon